Good morning. Here is another episode of From the Property Manager's Desk. My name is Tiffany Eisenhower. I'm the principal broker and owner here at Freedom Property Management and Sales. I think I'm going to make this a bit of a, um, of a routine. Hopefully, there will be more positives than negatives, but uh, we've been dealing this morning with another interesting situation, and so I figured I would jump on and share it with all of you so that uh, hopefully you can learn a little bit from it as well. Uh, so it is Monday morning here in Northern Virginia. Um, we just uh, recently got a phone call from one of our property owners who we manage two uh, rental properties for um, here in Woodbridge, Virginia. And he gave us a call to let him know that his contractors had just arrived on site to the property to complete a list of repairs that have been identified on a couple of the last inspections. So a few problems with that. Um, first of all, we received no notice that these contractors were coming. Uh, when we asked the owner when uh, he was going to provide us with that notice, he said he emailed our property manager on Saturday. So um, that means that we had zero business days to provide the tenants with any type of notice that anyone was showing up. Um, the second issue there is we don't know who these contractors are. We have no names, we have no business license, we have no insurance. So why is that important? Well, this is a tenant occupied property, which means the tenants have legal possession of the property. If something happens to a contractor while they're working there or a guest or a tenant, we need to know the insurance situation so that we can get that taken care of. Additionally, we, on behalf of the property owner, are taking the legal responsibility of maintaining this property and having that maintenance done by responsible, reliable, licensed contractors. That's in our management agreement and that's in the lease that the tenant signed. So unfortunately, we've had a couple of difficult conversations this morning with that property owner and said, you need to send your contractors away. The tenants are not home. They did not give you notice. They, or they did not res, uh, get notice from us and they did not confirm that it was okay for someone to be on their property doing work. Second of all, we have no insurance and license and information for these contractors. So what we're hoping uh, to do and what the proper process would be is that our property owner is providing us with the contact information for the contractor. We are then reaching out to the contractor and fully vetting them their details, make sure that they're going to meet all of our guidelines. And then we're providing tenants with notice as to when the contractors are coming and what they're doing. When the contractors are completed with their work, we're then collecting documentation and photos from them to confirm what they did and possibly even going out and inspecting their work to make sure that the quality is in line with the contractors that we are comfortable and we use on a routine basis. So, Wish us luck. Hopefully the day improves and we're able to, to rectify this um, with our property owner and those contractors. I hate wasting people's times, but at the end of the day, it's our responsibility to comply with this lease. So stay tuned to my channel. I guess you uh, click the like or follow or something. Um, if you want to hear more fun stories as to what we deal with here as property managers in Northern Virginia, have a great day.